was a dark rainy night and a mindless zombie had just been brought back to life thanks to a dungeon spawner. So, he was just meaninglessly wandering around without a single thought within his brain. But not too far away, a creeper was assassinated by a skeleton and a music disc was dropped. Now, that zombie just so happened to be walking in that general direction and so unintentionally, he found himself standing on that music disc which led him to instinctively pick it up. At that moment, Everything changed. The zombie with the music disc in hand suddenly gained self-awareness. Now the specifics of how this happened, well, they were unclear. But one thing was certain, he was no longer one of those mindless minions like all other zombies. But he had just achieved free will. And so with his newfound consciousness, thoughts began to rush through him. What was he going to do in this life? How many items were in those chests? Have you subscribed yet? And why was he just standing there? He had to make the most of his life, and so rather quickly, he acted, and he opened up all those chests in that dungeon, and he found that there was a diamond in one of them. That was great. He could make a jukebox out of that, and use it to play that music disc that just awoke in his soul. And so he wandered over to a tree, collected all the wood that he needed, and he made his jukebox. But now he needed a place to use that jukebox, and thus he quickly built a quaint little hut, and he placed his prized jukebox right into the centre of it. From then on, the zombie spent his days in that hut, playing music and dancing around. It was pleasant. He had a very nice life. But he was a conscious being, and that life wasn't fully satisfying to him. He needed more in his life. Specifically, he wanted more music. And so, to get more music, he was going to need more music discs and more jukeboxes. And to get those items, well, he was going to need to venture into the dark depths of the underground. But he wasn't scared by that. He was a zombie. They were used to the darkness. And thus, he constructed a small mine entrance off to the side of his house and began his descent. Thanks to that mine, he was able to delve deep into the overworld, where he then developed a complex network of tunnels and passageways that spread out in all directions. Now, Thanks to all that, he was able to discover many diamond deposits, which allowed for many new jukeboxes to be crafted. As well as that, he uncovered every single music disc that existed in the underground. Things were looking quite good, as the zombie had all the music that he could possibly wish for, and he was satisfied with his life. But, eventually, one dark morning, that would change. As that zombie, while listening to his favourite song, and mining in the depths, he uncovered this strange brick. He had never seen anything like this before, and so cautiously, he mined it. And with that, he was exposed to this odd chamber. The zombie was excited. Maybe there was a new music to scare. And so he began to explore that chamber, when all of a sudden... A villager explorer was galloping across the land, for he was on the search for his next great adventure. And eventually, while on this grand quest, he found himself facing this small hut in the plains biome. The villager was intrigued, and so he leapt off his horse and tied him to a small post before he ventured over so that he could explore this strange structure in greater detail. Now rather quickly, it became apparent that this house had been abandoned for quite some time, as cobwebs were in the corner, the windows were all broken, and the floor was well... gone. But still, it was an interesting find, and by the time that he had found it, he was getting somewhat close to night. And so that adventurer made the decision to set up his camp within that abandoned hut for the night. And thus, he placed down all of his belongings, set up a small campfire, and planned out his journey for the upcoming days, before he got out his lime bed and went to sleep. Was that music? That was a very strange night. He was certain that he dreamt about hearing all these different music discs, most of which he 
he had never even heard before. It was odd. But anyways, he moved on. And after a short look around that hut, he discovered that there was a small custom mine alongside the building. And so intrigued by this new adventure before him, he began to explore. Now, just like that hut, it was apparent that this mine was long abandoned, as it was dark and gloomy and damp. And so to illuminate his path and to ensure his safety, he held up a lantern. Now, he made it quite far in that mine, but eventually he found that this mine split off in all different directions. At first, he wasn't quite certain on which route he should take but eventually he realised that the northernmost route was probably the primary path used, given that it had a far more impressive entrance. And so intrigued by what was ahead, he began to walk down that tunnel. Now throughout that exploration, there were many clear signs of sentient life being down here, at some point, as there were chests and little resting spots, and he even found an enchanted diamond pickaxe hanging on the wall. Now, he decided to take that pickaxe, as the true owner was probably long dead, and he wanted a souvenir for this adventure, and after that, he continued onwards into the dark abyss of that mine. And he kept going, until after a few hours, he reached the end of the tunnel. That was disappointing to say the least. He was somewhat expecting there to be something here, but there wasn't, and there was nothing that he could do about that. It was just... Nothing of interest here. However, as he turned around, ready to leave that tunnel, he began to hear the faint sound of music. It was... Desquan. Cat. That was... strange. But, under further examination, he realised that the sound was emanating from something a bit further north. So perhaps it was coming from a small bunker that the miner had built long, long ago and it accidentally left the music desk playing for all these years. Yes, that must be it. There was no way that there was nothing here. There must be a bunker. That's the only reasonable explanation to hearing that song. And so the villager retrieved that pickaxe that he had just found and he began to mine towards that song, interested to explore this hidden bunker. And as he mined further north, the song was only getting louder, and louder, and louder. Too loud in fact. But still, he must be getting very close now. But just when he thought he was about to reach that bunker, he mined into a cave, and the sound suddenly stopped. Everything went quiet. That was again, disappointing. He was certain that there was a bunker here. There was no way that he was just hearing things. And so, that adventurer entered the cave, thinking that it was probably just a bit further north and was hiding from view, but then he saw it. There was no bunker here. No. Instead, there was a horde of zombies just standing there. As soon as the light reached them, they began their mindless march towards the villager. Oh no. He knew that he wouldn't be able to take all of them, and so he started to run as fast as he possibly could. The zombies were chasing after him, groaning and holding out their arms, ready to attack. But he was gaining distance from them, as he was going much faster than the zombies. So eventually he had the time to block off that tunnel and seal the zombies away. And thus, he was probably safe. Now, he quite enjoyed this adventure, but it was about time to leave this place and go find the next interesting adventure, as really, there was nothing more to this place. And thus, he began to run out of that mine, but as he made his way south, he heard another song. This time it was Discalevan. It was playing all around him. The sounds were emanating off the walls. Fear began to grip his soul. What was happening? But still, despite the oddity and the fear that lingered over him, he pressed onwards, and after a short while, he reached the surface, and the song was over. In his mind, this place was probably haunted. There was just too much weirdness about it, as he had never heard music just randomly playing. And the house was abandoned, and the mine was abandoned. Something wasn't right here. And so that adventurer decided that it was definitely time to leave now. And thus, he exited that mine, and got ready to prepare his horse to leave this place. But almost immediately, he saw that his horse was dead. In fact, so were all the other animals. They were all just lying there, 
on the floor. The villager was confused, and so he began to look around to try and figure out what happened here. But the only evidence he could see was just a cooked chicken on the floor. That was odd. And so he walked over to it, and he picked it up. It was still warm. And then he turned back around, and he saw what caused all this. There was a giant fire behind that house. Well... That can't be good. And so that villager sprinted back into that house, and he tried to grab as much of his belongings as he possibly could. The fire was drawing nearer. He looked out the window every couple of seconds to see how far this fire was, and to try and predict how much time he had left. He still had so many items lying around, he needed more time. The fire was creeping ever closer. He had to go, but he couldn't just leave all his items. They were irreplaceable. Luckily, after only a few minutes, only his bed remained. And when he mind that at last, he looked out the window for one final time before he planned on evacuating. But as he did that, he saw him. Jukebox head. Disc 13 began to emanate from his form, and the monster started to approach him. The villager had run out of time. He had to evacuate. Now. And so with all of his items that he had collected thus far, he sprinted out of that hut and away from that monster. Now he ran for the next few minutes without stopping, and the sounds of the fire and disc 13 were quieting down as he ran away. He was getting away from them. But still, he was persistent in his run. He needed to get as much distance as possible from that fire and from that jukebox head. For he had no idea what it was capable of. But eventually, he wasn't able to run any further as he had reached the coast. Now, he was planning to just build a boat and sail out of this land. But he was distracted before he could mine any wood. As along the beach, there were all these parrots, and they were just... dancing. That was nice. So the villager took a few steps closer to them, captivated by their positive aura. But then Disc 5 began to play. That adventurer turned around, ready to face the source of that song. And well... He was just standing there, staring at him. It was that monster. Jukebox head then began to throw potions at the villager. And then it began to thunder. And then all different songs began to emanate from the sky. The villager tried to jump in the ocean and swim away from him. But it was too late. Jukebox head lunged and attacked. Everything went dark. For the game had crashed. When the game eventually rebooted, the brave villager found himself back on his horse a few days prior, that enchanted pickaxe somehow in his hands. That was odd, but he was just grateful to be alive. Now his horse was galloping in the same direction that he had gone previously, but no, he wasn't going to do that again. There was no way that he could ever return to that hut and see that monster again and so he ordered his horse to turn around and gallop in a different direction as he then began his search for his next great adventure hopefully he would have one that would have nothing like that monster of the jukebox head as he never wanted to see that thing ever again little did he know the upcoming trials were far far worse than that jukebox head but to learn what happened next, you'll need to watch this video.